Hey everyone, we're out here today in the woods with Dad, Buddy Tim over there, and we're detecting this old home site. I was swinging the AT Pro right under the edge of the house here. I figured they'd lose stuff, fall to the floorboards or drop it near the steps. I dug down almost a foot deep and just pulled out this coin. And all I know is it has to be Indian head. So, sure is. Wow. Let's see if we can get a year off of it. It's very green. It's got to be an old one. Unbelievable. As you can see, Indian head right there. Tim found him a nice Indian head penny here. Get a close up. Yep, you can see the feathers of the Indian head. Looks like a date of something, oh, something. So, 1900s. That's a great find. Ooh. Good job. Using the Fisher F75. And I'm using my AT Pro. Dad's over there somewhere. He's digging a hole. Okay, I got a good signal here. <laughs> it's actually too good. Should have passed a 7980. Here's what it sounds like. Go. Dig the hole. See what it is. It sounds like a coin, though. And by the way, it's showing up. It's probably a wheat penny. Okay, I don't see anything big. Oh my God! Mercury dime. Wow. Man, I knew that was showing up too good. A nice mercury dime. Unbelievable. 1942. Wow. That was giving a great signal. Only about two inches deep. Found with the Garrett AT Pro. So, that's a great find. Okay, yeah. I just retake the hole and I got another great signal. It's right in there. It's showing up. It's basically a dime signal. So, hopefully this is another silver. Right there. Oh, I see it, the coin. Oh, it's probably going to be a wheat penny. Yep, it's a wheat penny. All right. Another good find. Let's recheck this hole again. Woo! There's another one in there. <laughs> okay, let's. Got us up. Oh, there it is, right there. Another wheat penny. Let's recheck. Let's recheck it again. If I don't even buy lunch. <laughs> this is gonna be a nickel. Maybe a buffalo. Unbelievable, right beside this bush. Thing is, there was old driveway going through here. So I figured, you know, people always lose stuff beside driveways. Oh, there it is. Ah, just a Jefferson nickel. <laughs> Let's see. 19, I don't know. Can't tell, 19, looks like 41. It was almost a silver one. Okay, let's recheck it again. We got another signal in there. This is, um, oh, it's another nickel. <laughs> 19, Let's clean it off. 1941. It actually kind of looks silver. It might be a 42. All right, recheck it again. Woo! That's a dime signal. Okay, well, we'll get back to you in a minute. Right, it's... we're gonna go dig him up before he gets them. Okay, uh, I mostly checked the hole real good. Dad's checking it now. But here's what I got out of here. 1942 Mercury Dime. I got one, two, three nickels. One's 1940, the other 1941. And I got one, two, three, four, five wheat pennies. 
out of this hole. Nice coin spill, and there might be some more stuff in it or under that bush. But it was found all right there in that little hole. So, that's awesome. Found off the Garrett AT Pro. Using iron discrimination at 36. Sensitivity up all the way, and I'm in Pro Zero. Doing great. We're still out here in the woods, and I just dug a Colonial flat button. I already have it in my tackle box. I want to show it to you anyway. Tim's over here somewhere. Using the Fisher F75. Oh, he's done gone. Oh, there he is over there. But, looking around. And over here, where I dug the flat button with AT Pro. This is a uh, Garrett GTI 2500 case. I just put it on my AT Pro. Fits good enough. Keeps it from getting all scratched up. And let me um, get my tackle box out and show you my button. Here it is. Found about 100 feet from the 1812 button area. It's a little design on it. It's colonial by the shank. So that's a great find and this is a, this is a very old site. Just got a good signal. Shut up as a 53. That's nickel. And it's the top portion of an old Civil War era or older pewter spoon. Or it could be brass. Usually they're pewter. But it looks like brass. So that's a cool relic. I dug a flat button right there. And I came over here, got another one. I've already looked at it. I see gold plating, but if it has a design, I don't want to rub it. So I have to soak it in some water or something when I get home. But nice old shank on the back, about the size of a dime. So that's a good find, only about two inches deep. Oh. See y'all at the next hole. Just dug a old piece of lead here. Pretty cool. Right, looks like it have, has uh, teeth marks in it, maybe. Got a good signal here. Showing up as a 57. It's like pull tab. It's probably a flat button or a piece of lid. So let's see. Right there, whatever it is. piece of brass. Looks like it goes off a lantern or something. I don't know what that is. Just cap off something it looks like. So, see you all at the next hole. Just found this nice buckle here. Showed up real good. Quarter signal on the AT Pro. Still has the inner pins in it. Okay, I've been searching in the house. So far, I got a 22 bullet. I got a good signal here. Oh! I don't know if a dime. So let's uh, look at the dirt. It's like sand. Let's see what we got. I think it's down there a little bit deeper. Alright. Right <laughs> there. What <laughs> <the hell> was that? <laughs> I can't find it. That means it's gonna be a mason jar. Two little coins, it's so deep. No. I don't think so. Look at that dirt. Big down in China. Alright. I lost it. <laughs> Must have been lost signal, but. Your showing up yeah, cover that hole back in. Hey everyone, there's all the finds found today. Found all this stuff right here. Got a nice Coke bottle. 
It's uh, one of the Pat D. Cokes. These were made between 1938 and 1951. So it's in between that era. It's in good condition. Not scratched up or anything really. I got some who knows what things. Like a picture frame thing maybe there. I don't know what that is. Goes off of something. That thing has a Z on it. Part to a spoon, zipper, old pocket knife, lead, pieces of spoons there. I've got three old flat buttons. This one has writing on it. About 1850s, 1860s era. Probably Confederates wore them. Here's another one here. It's a real old house. It's about a mile from where we park from the road. And no one's been out there except us in a long time. I found five wheat pennies, four nickels, and a mercury dime all in the same hole. It's a 1942 mercury dime. Pretty good shape. The nickels are from 1940 and 1941. That's the dates on them. The wheat pennies, uh, mostly from the 40s, but one of them's from 1956. So they had to lose that stuff in the 1950s. Got an old horse tack buckle. Something there. Have no idea what it is. Pewter harmonica reed. Thing off a window. Piece of lead. Old arrowhead. I thought it was a piece of slate when I found it, but turns out Native American artifact. It's been worked. Broken a long time ago. Nice spear point. Uh, a few pieces of lead there. Part to a makeup compact. And uh, some other junk items. So, that's all finds. And thanks for watching.